an undetected footprint, we are talking about Georgia Tan. She may have kidnapped over 5,000 children under the disguise of an adoption agency, making millions in the process. For more than two decades, she ran a large-scale child trafficking ring under the pretense of a legitimate adoption agency. Over 5,000 kids were kidnapped by Georgia, and at least 500 children died while under her care. Her actions profoundly impacted countless families and led to a changes in adoption laws and practices in the United States. She was born in 1891 in Philadelphia, Mississippi. She was named after her father, who was a powerful judge. She hoped to practice law, but her father wouldn't allow it. So she pursued a career in social worker instead. After working in Mississippi for a short time, she was fired for removing children from impoverished homes without cause. In 1922, she began working as an executive secretary at the Tennessee Children's Home Society, a position that her father secured for her with his political connections. In 1929, she became the executive director and, ex and exploited her position to carry out a lucrative child trafficking operation. During the 21 years she ran the Children's Home Society in Tennessee, she made more than a million dollars which equates to about 11 million today. She targeted families in poverty, often used deceit and coercion to take their children. She manipulated parents into giving up their children by promising temporary care or better opportunities for them. She also outright stole babies from hospitals, telling the mothers that their children had died. She would then falsify birth records to erase any trace of the children's biological families making it nearly impossible for parents to track down their kids again. She sold the kids to wealthy couples, such as actors and politicians. She also had connections with powerful political figures who facilitated her operations by looking the other way, or participating in the schemes themselves. It is estimated that she was responsible for a legal adoption of 5,000 kids. Many of these children suffered abuse and neglect. Some never learned their real identities. Georgia's cruelty knew no bounds. If she considered an infant too weak, the baby might be left out in the sun to perish. If a child had a disability or was too ugly or old, had people get rid of them. Many were buried on the property of the Children's Home Society, although around 20 children were buried in unmarked graves at Elmwood Cemetery in Memphis. In 1950, her activities had started coming to light thanks to newly elected Tennessee Governor Gordon Browning. An in-depth investigation revealed that the extent of her crimes. Unfortunately, she was never brought to justice. She died after slipping into a coma from untreated uterine cancer. The scandal contributed to reforms in adoption practices and child welfare laws. Efforts were made to reunite children with their biological families, but, no, but the excessive tampering of records left many still separated. Some prominent people who adopted kids from her were Joan Crawford, Dick Powell, and wrestler Rick Flair. She was a wolf in sheep's clothing. She was an evil individual. The weak prey on children because they're easy targets. It's disgusting what she has done. You really have to watch who you let around your kids in order to keep them safe. What Georgia Tan did was so wrong on so many levels. She is an evil woman for doing what she did. I'm sure a lot of them kids would have been, I'm sure those kids would have been fine to the mothers they were born to. There is no reason for her to go and take all these babies from these fam from these mothers. Now you have, who knows how many, maybe up to 5,000 babies who lived all this time without knowing who they really belonged to, who their real family were because of her. It's an unsafe world they really have to be careful parents have to be careful where they send their kids to who they let their kids be around i was adopted as a baby in alabama and my records are sealed i cannot access them i know tennessee is one state where you can't access them but most states can't access your adoption records and you should be allowed to if you're the if you're the adopted person you should be allowed to see your records without having to pay a judge hundreds and hundreds of dollars to hope to get the uh the adoption records uh unsealed 